Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi. Uh, congratulations for making it to the end of the Introduction to Lightroom section. Uh, to finish up this section, this final tutorial is going to give you guys just kind of a brief overview of our typical post production workflow. So, how it's going to go is after a shoot, we would import our new images into a new Lightroom catalog. And what we do is each shoot has its own catalog to keep jobs organized and to prevent catalogs from becoming too large. When a catalog becomes too large, it not only slows down, it also makes it difficult to transfer the catalog from computer to computer or from hard drive to hard drive. So we do recommend uh, definitely creating a new catalog for every single shoot that you do. Um, now at that point, if it's needed, we would go through and we'd sort and categorize the images. Um, this is typically useful when you're doing large events like a wedding or some kind of multiple day event where you're just taking a ton of images. From there, we're going to begin our simultaneous culling and editing process. Now, for some people, you might prefer culling and then going back through and editing them. We do find that we work faster by kind of combining the two activities. And I think a large portion, I mean, it's mainly due because we're using RPG keys. And that makes, uh, the, the keys actually make culling and editing simultaneously extremely quick. Um, which, by the way, <coughs> RPG keys is a product that we wholeheartedly recommend. Um, Tim of RPG keys was cool enough to give our entire community a uh, coupon code, which you've seen probably at the beginning of these videos. So. If you do end up using it, be sure to thank Tim. Um, write a little note, say thanks for, you know, rewarding the SR Lounge fans. It's something that he didn't have to do; that he was just nice enough to go and do for us anyway. Um, so anyway, after our images have been culled and processed in Lightroom, we are then going to take whatever images need Photoshopping into Photoshop to finish them up with kind of our final touches and effects to get whatever uh, artistic effects we want. Now, for us wedding photographers. We typically only Photoshop around like 5% of our photos just because uh, the majority of our photos don't really need it. It's not the majority of our photos that we're taking are a lot of candids, um, a lot of detail shots. They really don't need to be individually touched up in Photoshop. They look great coming straight out of Lightroom. Um, but if you, say, are a commercial, editorial, or fashion photographer, uh, you might be taking shots where you're only delivering a few to, say, uh, your client, say, say, a magazine or, say, a company. If you're only delivering a few shots, you definitely are probably going to be taking all those into Photoshop. So depending on what kind of industry in, you're in, uh, how many shots and the percentage of shots that you're taking into Photoshop might vary greatly. Um, but that's about it, guys. Uh, you're going to take those shots into Photoshop, complete your artistry, and that's it. Um, so great job so far, guys. We're going to see you in the next section where we're going to dive right into uh, getting started learning Lightroom.